the asteroid belt, often portrayed as a dense cluster of space rock. But in reality, it looks more like this. Emptiness, with the occasional lone asteroid, often no bigger than a pebble. The asteroid belt sits between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. It's often called the main asteroid belt to distinguish it from other asteroid collections in the solar system. In the early solar system, Jupiter's intense gravity prevented any planets from forming in this region, preserving the asteroid belt as we know today. Ceres is the largest asteroid in the region, and along with the other three largest asteroids, accounts for about half the mass of the asteroid belt. Even the larger asteroids are still too small to form spheres, and the combined mass of all several million asteroids is still less than that of the Earth's moon. It is important to closely monitor large asteroids because gravitational disturbances can pull them near Earth. NASA carefully maps the trajectory of over a thousand potentially dangerous asteroids. The asteroid that likely killed the dinosaurs was about a dozen kilometers in diameter. But an asteroid of only a few hundred meters in diameter could wreak serious havoc on the Earth's climate. If it is discovered that an asteroid is headed towards the Earth's path, there are a few theoretical ways of preventing a direct hit. Some of the ideas include vaporizing lasers or gravitational tugs to slightly alter its trajectory. Although asteroids potentially pose a serious threat to human life on Earth, they also offer potential benefits. Mining materials from asteroids, such as water or metals, could be the key to unlocking the next era of space travel. <laughs>